Hi, this video is going to explain and demonstrate um, some new features I've been working on for the Grasshopper to Revit uh, exchange using the Industry Foundation class neutral BIM format. I'm going to generate an adaptive component for as a Revit family, but create the actual input for that adaptive family within the Grasshopper environment. So effectively I'm dividing a circle by a number of uh, division points and then joining a line to a subsequent point and creating an intermediate edge of the family um, at some position or parameter along that line and so there's various sliders which can control uh, these particular inputs. So then when we're happy with uh, the family that we or the adaptive component that we wish to create we can bake to an IFC file uh, and then open that IFC file using the Geometry Gym Revit add-on which will create a family that uh, a, a, an adaptive component. So this uses some of the Industry Foundation class um, data structures for um, topology um, or connectivity, so which vertex connects to which, um, as well as some of the parametrics such as a point on curve. If we quickly open that family within Revit, we'll be able to see that from that file it's actually created some adaptive points um, and as I said, the, the relationships and things like that are built into that IFC data structure. So if we start to move around one of the adaptive points, we'll see that the relationships, etc., are retained within this particular family object. So the straight line from one point to another, and um, and then the intermediate points, etc., are still constrained to somewhere along that position. So at this particular example I actually disabled the population or the propagation or location of these adaptive components within a model. So if we go back to our grasshopper definition, then I can re-enable these components. Now for this I've actually used a polyline shape representation to nominate or specify the um, adaptive point locations for each of the family occurrences. So all I've done really here is quickly create a lofted surface and subdivide that surface and create a spline between the the edge, the corner points of each of these subdivisions and then divide that by the number of points that exist on this adaptive component and that will give the set out locations of, uh, of each of the positions of these elements. So again if I bake it I'll get a slightly bigger file because this will uh, include the adaptive component locations but we can come back to Revit and we can open that up. So there'll be lots more improvements to look at for this including extrusions and other members and bits and pieces but hopefully it's a, uh, a reasonable insight or start on, uh, on propagating and generating this type of family element from within the grasshopper environment.